Hello there guys, this is Jack One Day talking here and today I've got another video for you. So please buckle up and let's get into it. Today's video is on the RTX 3050. I'm going to be talking about the leaks on specs, the given price and also the potential release date. For one, for the RTX 2000 series, we got to see the 2060 be the lowest end card. We would have thought that Nvidia was planning on doing the same this year, but it could choose to go a step lower to bring a more pocket friendly card that can do ray tracing. This seems to be highly likely with the leaks shown in this video. Anyway, let's talk about specs. It looks like the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3050 will come with the new SKU of the Ampere GPU named the GA107300, which is built on the 8 nanometer process. The card supports DirectX 12 Ultimate. This ensures that all modern games will run on the GeForce RTX 3050. Additionally, the DirectX 12 Ultimate compatibility guarantees support for hardware ray tracing, variable rate shading, and more in the upcoming video games. Apparently, it will come with 2,304 shading units, aka CUDA cores, and 72 texture mapping units, and lastly, 40 roots. Also included are 72 tensor cores, which help improve the speed of machine learning applications. This card also has 18 ray tracing acceleration cores. In terms of memory, it's likely that this card will come with 4 gigabytes of memory which are connected using a 128-bit memory interface. The GPU is operating at a frequency of 1545MHz, which can be boosted up to 1740MHz. Memory is running at 1750MHz, which is 14GB effectively. The 50 series is usually the balance of price and performance, however, this could end up being the lowest end RTX 3000 card this time round. Being a dual slot card, the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3050 draws power from one 6 pin power connector, with draw power rated at 90 watt maximum. For the Founders Edition, display outputs include one HDMI and three display ports. The 3050 is connected to the rest of the system using the PCI Express 4.0 time 16 interface. The card measures at 242mm in length and 112mm in width and also features a dual slot cooling system according to this leak. My recommended gaming solutions for this GPU would be anything up to 1080p. However, this is heavily dependent on which titles you play, something like League of Legends will be a breeze. However, this is heavily dependent on titles you play, something like League of Legends will be a breeze. However, Call of Duty and AAA games on the other hand, it will struggle to keep that competitive edge with a high stable frame rate. I would suggest playing games at 1080p with this GPU for the majority. It's not to say that this GPU can't reach 1440p resolutions, it can, but it will be highly restricted on the titles you play, the graphics options and other components you pair this up with and lastly the, the FPS you'd be happy with. Due to the low amount of memory size and overall specs of this card, I wouldn't expect to be playing any games at 4K with this GPU. But for the price, what do you expect? Talking about price, let's get into it. But before that, feel free to pause the video and take a more in-depth read of the key features and specs on screen now. So, price. The RTX 2060 had a price tag that started around 310 US dollars. On the other hand, the GTX 1050 had a starting price at 110 US dollars. It's safe to assume that Nvidia will price the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3050 between 230 and 270 US dollars, making it a pretty decent entry level ray tracing gaming experience. For those in the UK, that's 170 to 210 pounds. And for those who want it in euros, that's 190 to 230 euros. Lastly, release date. We can expect to see the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3050 sometime in the first half of 2021. Stay tuned to us for more news on the same. Nvidia are hosting an event on the 2nd of December where they will be showcasing the 3060 Ti. So we could expect them to also mention the 3050 model as well. Many claim that it could come as early as January or February in 2021, which would be great. Because I know many people are waiting for this card for their budget builds. 
To also add, make sure to check out my video where I show you how you can have the best chances on buying one of these or any of the 3000 series cards. I can back up the tips and tricks mentioned in the video as I use them to cop a 3070 myself. There should be a pop up on screen now so you can click on that or just wait until the end of the video and there will be a link in the description. That's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful then please comment that down in the description, give me some feedback as well and put your thoughts down there, remember to smash that thumbs up button as it helps show your support as well as subscribing and turning that bell notification on as I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I'd greatly appreciate that. Anyway, that's it from me, I'll see you in the next one, peace.